Do you refer this as headband or hairband? Please let me know in the comment below because it's a little confusing. Hi, welcome to Anjurisa's crafting room. My name is Risa, but I prefer to be called Risa simply because it's easier. I really love crafting and currently I'm in love in hair accessories, any headbands, hair bows especially a casual style so we can wear it every day and in this video i will show you how to make this simple bow hairband suitable for everyday wear so let's get started try to make this bow first you can use any fabric for this i am using cotton fabric and you know i always say this over and over that if you are a beginner in sewing i will try to suggest you start from cotton fabric after you sew a lot after you sew regularly then you can try to use other fabric like i did here i am using satin fabric for this and as someone who sew who has been sewing for about seven years i still find it's little difficult to sew with satin fabric because satin fabric is hard to tame we can it's really difficult to lay the fabric flat down and then we can, we have to cut the fabric a straight line and it's really really hard so i think if you are a beginner just skip this satin first try to use cotton fabric the size is about 10 by 4 inches so with the right sides together i am going to fold with the right sides together i'm going to fold the fabric and sew this part if you don't want to use a sewing machine then i will suggest you to fold the fabric to the center like this on the wrong side fold it to the right side fold it on the wrong side this is the right side and then fold it to the center fold to the center and then you can try to pinch the fabric like this you can tie it with sewing thread but if you make this bow without sewing it's a little untidy if it's for personal use it's really fine but if you want to make this in a professional way like making this headband for sale then i will suggest you to sew the bow so i just take this to the sewing machine after this we are going to turn the fabric right side out we actually need two pieces of this so i will just show you once about how to make one part of the bow next i am going to press the fabric flat down this is one of my favorite things to do when making a hair accessories when doing a sewing project i always give my fabric a nice press before i sew it so it will just have a very nice finish it's a little thing but it makes a big difference next i will fold the fabric in half to determine the center just fold it in half and then give it a little press and then open it i can see the center part of this now i will fold the fabric to the center sew this part and then i fold it to the center once again and sew this part so i sew the first part lift up the presser foot turn the fabric and fold to the center once again and sew it once again that's it we are going to need two pieces of this I have prepared another one now we are going to shaping the bow just fold the fabric down and fold it back and forth like this and you can sew it through the fabric do it once again because i am going to attach this to our headband so i won't cut this thread let's put this aside next i will show you the headband size that i use 
I want to make the headband a little narrow like this. I don't want to make it wide. So I am using this little headband. The size is about the size is about one centimeter. Uh, it's no more than half an inch. You can see it. It's no more than half an inch. So the final result of this is about three centimeters or one and a quarter inch if you want to make this wider you may need wider headband to make it balance so let us measure the length of the headband because different headband size has different uh, length so this one is about 35 and a half centimeters let's say it's about 14 inches Next, I am going to prepare the fabric. I am using another cotton fabric and the length of this should be the same as the length of our headband. So it's about 14 inches and the width I am using about two and a half inch wide. So the final result is about one and a quarter inch. If you want to make your headband wider, you may need a wider piece of fabric. So with my headband size, I am going to need 14 by 2 and a half inch. Next, one of my favorite things to do is to put a felt fabric inside the headband. The size is about 1 and a quarter inch. It's the same width as my headband. So I am going to insert my felt fabric inside. The length is about 25 or 28 centimeters it should be shorter than our our fabric so the the edge of our headband won't be too bulky you can actually skip this part but i will strongly suggest you to insert a lining inside the headband because we are going to attach the fabric to our headband if you don't use a felt fabric like i did here the glue line because we are going to attach the fabric to the headband by using a glue a hot glue gun the glue line is very visible and i think it's not it's quite unattractive <laughs> if if you are if you want to make this tidy i will suggest you i will strongly suggest you to use felt fabric or you can use any lining fabric inside the headband first i will put the fabric in the center right on the center and prepare hot glue gun if you want to make the felt fabric stays in place you can try to pin it pin it here what we are going to do is i will attach a glue along the line here oops sorry i forgot to turn on my hot glue gun i have to wait for about a minute oof let's wait for the hot glue gun getting hot okay it's getting hot and i think it's enough let's try to add a line of glue along the felt fabric just add a little and then we are going to fold the fabric to the center fold it to the center that's it now you can take off the pins take off the pins and glue the bottom part of the fabric and fold the fabric to the center add the top glue here and here now you have to focus on these lines the raw edges of our fabric should be in the center of the fabric so when we attach the headband we can close the raw edges perfectly now i'm going to attach this to the headband make sure that the fabric is the same length as as our headband so we can cover the headband perfectly let's try this first Add a dab of glue on the headband and then attach this right on the center of the raw raw edges of the fabric. Then add a glue here on the fabric and fold it to the inside of the headband. 
you can actually fold it to the outside but I prefer to fold it to the inside of the headband just like that now you can attach the glue on the headband and cover the headband perfectly right on the center of the fabric so we can close the raw edges of the fabric perfectly We are going to finish the edge of the headband. I am using Grogren ribbon so we can just wrap around the, the end of the headband here. Just wrap it around so I know how long of fabric should I need. Am I going to need about this? Cut two pieces. Cut two pieces and then after I cut the ribbon I want to seal the end of the fabric so the end of the ribbon so the ribbon won't fray because once the ribbon is frayed everything is ruined seal the ribbon now I will only show you once because there are two part of the headband attach a glue on the fabric on the ribbon I mean and then attach this to the headband attach a glue on the right side or left side fold it, wrap it around the, the edge of the headband do we call this headband or hairband? I'm confused Now repeat this on the other ends. I have finished both ends of the headband. Next, we are going to attach the bow. It's uh, according to your desire. If you want to place it right in the center or a little to the side or the easier way is to wear your headband first. You wear your headband and then you can put the bow where should I put it? Is it here or here? And then you can mark a little dots here. You can mark a little dots here. And see, I will attach this around here. Let's take this. Oops, I forgot to wear my headband. Now I'm going to attach the bow. I will attach it here, the dots that we made. You can sew it here and then sew it here. You can tie it or pull the thread. Sew it to the bow. Just like this. It's gathered perfectly and you can wrap around. And then I will prepare the center of the bow. The size is about the, li the little fabric size is about five by three inches and then fold it to the center. I fold it in half and we are going to sew this part flip the fabric inside out I will fold the fabric to make a beautiful crease for the center fold it this like this turn it over and fold the same way so this is the right sides. You can see the beautiful crease. We are going to wrap around the center. Put it together. 
and we are going to sew this part for the last time. To sew the centerpiece, this is quite tricky. I always sew a temporary stitch first. Let's sew a temporary stitch. Wait. It's quite thick. Okay, just like that. And then I will move my needle to the left side. Move my needle to the left side. I think mostly most portable sewing machine can do that. So I don't recommend you to use mini sewing machine because once I once used a mini sewing machine and it lasts only about two months or three months and then it's broken and there's no way to fix it. So it's better to use a portable sewing machine rather than a mini sewing machine. Let's try to sew it. As you can see, this is our temporary stitch and I will just cut it right here to throw off to cut off the temporary stitch. Then we can just flip the center piece, flip over. Now after I flip the center piece, I want to make sure that the center piece stays in place because sometimes it will slide to the left side or slide to the right side. We never know. So I'll just put a dab of glue in the center here and we can just tap it a little and that's it our simple bow heaven is finished <laughs>for watching this video if you find this tutorial useful please give me a like and share this video if you don't it's not a problem just hit the dislike button and tell me below about what you don't like see you in my next video bye bye